Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, JMDSers. How's everyone doing? Uh, apologies that this is a bit later than planned, but um, all sorts going on. But yes, so today I thought we would talk about um, diction. Now, diction is extremely important when we're talking about drama. It's extremely important if we're talking about singing. Um, and the worst thing, the one thing I hate, and do you know, I've seen this in professional shows as well, where you're craning your neck, trying to work out what someone's saying. Um, so diction is absolutely paramount, and I'm always going on about it in classes, aren't I? I know, I know. Um, so one of the first things we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to warm up our mouths, okay? So what I want you to do is the mouth is... Basically, the tongue is it's like a muscle. So if you were going to go and do a big long run or something, you would warm up all your muscles, wouldn't you? So exactly the same when you're going to be singing, you have to warm up your throat, your mouth muscles, your tongue. Um, and it's the same with acting. Um, if you just come in from a, I don't know, you've just been on the car journey, you've been sat looking at your phone or sat looking at something and then go to speak, it, sometimes your mouth can get really lazy and it all comes out blah, blah, blah. It all comes out a bit like that. So we need to think about diction. So for this, I want you to, first of all, unwrap a toffee, okay? Big ones, big, big ones, big toffees. Uh, older students too, and mm, put it in your mouth, okay? And yes, you're gonna feel very stupid, but this is what we do. This is such a good way of um, warming up our mouths and warming up those muscles. So it's big chewy. And you're warming up. And then you can really, oh, oh, I know we shouldn't eat with our mouths open, but hey. Oh, and then spit the toffee out. Okay, so it's in. Okay, warming up these muscles. One thing we see a lot is, and I think it's partly because of um, television and film, people don't need to open their mouths so much. Um, but you've got to remember the, the origins of theatre. Can you imagine in those great amphitheatres in Greece um, where there were, there, were none, there were no binoculars, there was no sound loop, there was nothing. So everything had to be very visual, but also you had to speak very clearly. So there, there was no amplification. So we have got a bit lazy. So what I want you to think about is pronouncing every word. We don't have to speak like we are part of royalty, but it's good to get our words clear. And that sounds very false. That's not what I'm asking you should do, but I'm just making the point. So, excuse me, the family are about to descend. Um, the first thing I want you to think about is let's do some tongue twisters. They're always great because they're going to also warm up our muscles, but they're also going to make us have to think as well. So let's go for a really straightforward one. First of all, let's go for red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. 